today I am doing a makeup tutorial and it has been a minute since I have done a makeup tutorial on my channel. Um, I really didn't have like anything planned or strategic thought out for this look. I just knew that I wanted to use the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because I don't think I've done a tutorial using this palette and I love this palette. It is amazing. It smells like freaking peaches. Oh my gosh, it is so, so nice. And I think this is a great palette for springtime. So I kind of want to do like a spring inspired look, but it's still very much winter here. I mean, it is still February, so not too springy, not too bright, but just a little brightness, a little springness, springness, springiness whatever you want to call it, words and stuff, they always trip me up. But this is the look I created. It's just a really pretty soft glowy pink eye, soft glowy skin, and a really fun bright pink fuchsia color on the lips. So if you want to see how I got this look using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, then just keep watching. So I already have my foundation done, and right now I am combating this super annoying zit, so just overlook it. It is so annoying. But moving on to under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And I'll have all of the products listed and linked down below in the description box for you guys so it's just easy. But I'm just going to blend this out. I love this concealer. It's really lightweight and it just gets the job done. So then to set everything, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Powders. And I just swirl all three together. I love these powders. Everyone talks about them and they are amazing. Then for eyebrows, you guys, I am so lazy when it comes to my brows. I'm just going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow. I have gone through endless tubes of this. It's amazing. To prime my lids, I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the color Champagne. And then for the fun part, the Sweet Peach Palette from Too Faced. You guys, this palette is gorgeous. Just look at those shades. Look at them. They're beautiful. So to start with, I'm going to use the color Bellini, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. It's a really pretty, kind of warm toned pink shade. It's really glittery and glowy and just gorgeous. Next, I'm going to take the color Georgia, and I'm going to use this as a transition shade. So I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush and just blend this through my crease. Next, I'm going to take the color Summer Yum, I believe. It's kind of hard to see in the screen, but I think it's the shade Summer Yum. I'm going to blend this through my outer V and then up through my crease, and I'm just going to keep adding color until it's as intense as I'd like it to be. Then taking the color Puree in Georgia, I'm going to use this as a crease shade. So taking a thinner, kind of fluffier brush, this is the MAC 217, which is the best brush by the way. I love that brush. I'm going to blend this through my crease. And then taking the color Luscious, I'm going to add this on the center of my eyelid just to kind of brighten it up and add a little bit of a glow. Then taking Summer Yum again, I'm going to blend this on my lower lash line. You guys know I have to make the most awkward face when I do my lower lash line, so I can't really show you guys. And then I just go back through and blend everything until I like it. Then taking the Physicians Formula Liquid Liner, I'm just going to do a really thin liquid line on my upper lash line. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. And then for mascara, I'm going to use this Clarins Mascara. I am loving this mascara at the moment. It gives you such full, voluminous lashes. And the formula also helps to strengthen and voluminize your natural lashes, which is awesome. So it's kind of a two-in-one. Then for bronzer, I'm going to use the Pure Cosmetics Glow Together Bronzer, and I'm just going to use the upper shades, which are matte, and I'm just going to bronze up my face, kind of adding it where a contour would go, but more like a bronzy, glowy look. After all, this is supposed to be kind of a springy look, right? Right? Then using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, I totally forgot about this blush, and I recently pulled it out. It's so beautiful. Why do I stop using this from time to time? Like, I should just use it every day. It is gorgeous. Then taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, I'm going to use this as a highlight, another oldie but goodie, and it's also very gorgeous. For lips, I'm going to use the Pony Effect Deep and Pure Lip Tint. This product is so cool. It's a very thin consistency and it stains your lips, but it's extremely pigmented. You can eat, drink, sleep through this, and it will stay on your lips all day. You do need to make sure that it dries before you rub your lips together or else you'll ruin the application. But this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick makeup tutorial, and I'll talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye!